how's the uh, first few practices with Nebraska been for you? Fine. Yeah. But, uh, what, if anything, has kind of stood out for you? You switch teams here this this off season. You know, new teammates, new coaches, all of it. What's, what's kind of stood out the most for you as you've gone through this? I don't know the weather. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, fact, the, yeah, the fact that Georgia we practice around three thirty in the hot old sun, and uh, around here we practice at six, six, seven, eight in the cold weather. So like, you know, this elements adjusting. It's football at the end of the day. Why did you? I mean, we kind of. I think you've been asked this before, but why, why, why Nebraska? What did you like about this place, and why, why did you want to be here? I mean. There's no concrete answer on why Nebraska, but I understood that Nebraska is a team that's fighting and making another impact on the college football world. And I feel like I have the skills and set and like everything about me that can help this team do that. You know what I mean? So like, you know, Coach Rule got a dream. I got a dream as well. So I just I just want to win games and have an impact on this team as, as much as the college football world. Um. My dream is to build uh, generational wealth at the end of the day. But at the same token, my, uh, my another dream of mine is just also fulfilling my childhood dream is to be the football player I always knew I can be. You know what I mean? So if that's playing linebacker at, at University of Nebraska, that's playing linebacker at University of Nebraska. You know, so. How's the transition to kind of Tony White's defense been for you? Oh, it's been fun. Like, that's the main reason why I say practice has been fun because, um, just see ball, get ball, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, he don't really want you sitting there reading or having your mind working those gears. He actually wants you to be a good athlete and play football. But of course, you got to be in your technique. Of course, you got to know your assignments. At the end of the day, once those two pack down, just go be an athlete and play, and play ball, have fun. And that's what I've been doing lately. Would you, how would you describe kind of that defense, that style? Uh, fast. That's how I describe it. It's fast. Um, it's a lot of speedsters on the field. That's what a 3-3-5 gives us. A lot of guys that can move around fast. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we got those big guys up front, but we also got fast guys on the edges and fast guys on the back end. So, like, this this college game is starting to come to a 1PO, 1PO world and everything like that. So, like, we got to play those and adjust to the game. And I think the 3-3-5 gives us the best chance to do that. How does that play to, your, to what you think your strengths are and your skill set to play? I mean, like, I've been working on my pass rush for the last three years, and I'm now feeling like I'm actually tapping to my potential. And um, so, like, it plays to that strength most definitely. You know, as soon as we stop first down, as soon as we stop second down, now's the time for me to pit my ears back and get the quarterback. So, like, it, that's how I've really been playing into my game. How, how much, you know, there's a lot, it looks like there's a lot of different options and, and angles to bring players from in that, in that front seven, front six. So how do you, you do a lot of moving around where you have a hand in the ground, you, you go back to a second level, or what, what's, uh, how much how much um, versatility is there in the role they're asking of you? I mean, it's a lot of versatility, but at the same token, um, heavy you head, where's the crown? I mean, ain't nothing, ain't nothing too much that none of the jacks in that room can't handle. You know what I mean? As I said, as, as I said in the previous question, you just got to know your assignment, execute the assignment. As soon as you do that, just go ahead and be an athlete. So ain't not too much gears grinding up there. Who else is at your position doing what you're what what you just explained? To you? Um, you got Jamari Butler, Maverick Noonan, um, Dem Corva, then you know um, that's that's really in Buddha too. You know what I mean? Me and me and Jamari, and we be having a great bond. Honestly, uh, that's that's somebody I know that can comp we can compliment each other when it comes to pass rushes and everything like that. We we often come to the sidelines and talking about what we saw in the previous play or what we did in the previous play. If, or like even today we ran a certain pack package where we were both on the field. We can look at each other on the same time as like, hey, did you win or did, did you know what I mean? And we can nod our head and shake our head, but it's just that competitive advantage between the both of us. It's like, if we want to make this team great, we know that kind of rests on our shoulders. So like every great team needs a pass rush and we feel like we can bring that to us. How did you grow in the, the three years that you were at Georgia? Playing with the players that you were playing with? I mean like every, I got million dollar friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, I can't. Two I, rings. I mean, I mean, yeah, two, that too. But like, yeah, I got million dollar friends, and then what I mean by that is like, I seen a lot of guys that I call my brother to this day that 
they grind and work hard in my position, other positions similar to mine, to be, to be where they're at right now. So like just watching them, learning from them, asking them questions, doing stuff like that. Um, the same thing I do here. When I when I feel like I'm, um, I did a play and I can run over to the sign, like, hey, did you watch it? Did you see it? What's something you critique me on? Same thing I did over there with my big bros here. But I guess now I'm the bigger brother, so. That's the, I mean, that's obviously the standard right now in college football. So having lived in that, what do you take from that experience and feel like you can you can bring here and, and help guys understand that? The discipline aspect of it. You know, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Kirby, Coach Kirby, he was he would get on you behind real quick if he didn't do your assignment or do your job. I'm not saying they wouldn't do it here, but hey, that was just ingrained. It's like a little worm in my brain right now. So and it's just I just try to make sure I'm conscientious of my work effort and everything I do. I try to make sure I do every single step right. You know, not to the point where I'm robotic, but to the point where I'm able to do my assignment correctly. So is Coach Knighton your primary coach, or is it Rob? Coach Rob. Okay. But I, I do like Coach Knighton. Tell him I love him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how have you, I mean, uh, how have you enjoyed working with, with Coach Rob? At, you know, a young guy with just in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the only, you know, the, the scary part about leaving Georgia was like, when I ever find a coaching staff like that again? And that's what I found right here. You know what I mean? Like, especially from them stemming down from the NFL, coming here, Coach Rule bringing his, his almost, almost his entire staff here too. Um, I mean, that's been always been a blessing. And Coach, me and Coach Rob, we developed a bond to the point where, um, yeah, man, like, he's he's my coach, and I'm proud to say that. Did you he's, feel like you knew that you had that connection with them, like that they were going to be able to fill that role for you before you, um, I mean, is that part of your decision process, or did you learn that more after you got here? I learned that more after I got here. I'm not going to lie, I had a high anxiety coming in here. You know what I mean? To the sense where it's like, okay, I mean, this is a new chapter in my life. I got to do what I have to do to make the best of it. You know, but at the same token, those those coaches, they helped me guide me through the process and helped me open up to myself to the point where I was comfortable and able to be the guy who I am right now. So, so what was it then that, that if, if you didn't feel, feel that strongly about them yet until you got here, what was it that made you want to pick this place? The opportunities that was here. I mean, I'm like, I'm not trying to be selfish or sound like I'm all about me or anything like that because I do really want to win games and win bowl games here and for them to bring a lot of a lot of you know success here in this in this facility which is absolutely deserved because by the work ethic of this team but yes the opportunities that lied here was pretty convincing for me and plus coach coach rule himself that's the main person I talked to when I was visiting here was coach rule you know what I mean like he, he said this is going to be a system where I can thrive in and I put my faith in him and you know Faith at the end of the day, you can't touch it, you can't see it, you can't taste it. It's intangible, but you just got to believe in it. And I'm still doing it, and I'm seeing some pretty good outcomes from it. You said when you were talking about your guy that you work with coming off the edge, you said it was Borders. Is that what you were talking about? Uh, uh, nah, mainly in the jack position is Jamari Butler. Jamari Butler, okay. Mm -hmm. How about with, with Chief, are you, are you, you tied with him? I mean, being a guy coming from, from the SEC, is, is there some – some kinship there? Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, funny thing about me and Chief, during the Florida-Georgia game, we went against each other in special teams. Yeah. So, like, it just, we, sometimes we joke about it and everything like that, but um, Chief is my, Chief is my sunlight. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a ball full of energy, yeah. you know? So, like, whenever I feel like I don't wanna be here today, or I, like, oh man, I wish I was still asleep. I will still see Chief bouncing around and smiling. <laughs> so if he up, I gotta be up, you know? Who's the best player you played with at Georgia? Best defender, the one that you respected the most. I can't tell you that. <laughs> no, no, front seven was nasty. I cannot tell you that. There's, I could list if I. Uh, -uh. you ain't gonna put me in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions?